and welcome back. I apologize for not uploading this sooner. I was not feeling particularly good last night. But I am better now, so we're just going to get right on with it. With the mission, the vault. The Romulans had a base known as the vault that they used for research into Borg technology. This facility was abandoned in the chaos after the destruction of the Romulan homeworld, but intelligence suggests that the work there was far enough along that it was used to retrofit Nero's ship before it disappeared along with Ambassador Spock's vessel in the Hobus system. Long-range sensors have detected energy spikes in the Halcona system, and Starfleet intelligence believes that someone is bringing the vault back online. We need to know who, and more importantly, we need to know if there is still Borg technology or restricted weaponry on that base. I need you to proceed immediately to the Hakona system and investigate the vault. Engage if you must, but I would prefer if you could gather the information we need without conflict. Very well, Admiral. I have new missions for you. So we have to go first to Starbase 39 and talk with Lieutenant Commander DeSoto. Of Starfleet Intelligence. So we'll find Commander Soto up here in the Admiral's office. In order to avoid drawing too much attention, you need to fly under the radar, so to speak. Admiral Tanay has authorized the requisition of a shuttlecraft for you. You can fulfill the requisition in the shipyard. Once you're ready, take the shuttlecraft out to the Hakona system. If you have a runabout, fighter, or other such craft available, feel free to use it, but do not approach the system in a starship. We want to avoid the notice of whoever's in the vault. A shuttle will also be able to dock with the vault and explore the interior. Understood. Also, Republic Intelligence will be sending one of their best with you on this operation, Commander Tilmera. She's been fully brief and will transport to your vessel as soon as you're ready to depart for Akona. I trust this won't be a problem, Admiral. Not at all. Any questions? Is this a Section 31 operation? What? Oh, that mythical boogeyman organization? No. This is a standard Starfleet operation at the behest of Admiral Tanay and supported by Starfleet Intelligence. In case you were wondering, that means that you should observe all regulations and don't start a war. Understood. Any questions? What can I expect at the vault? Borg technology, thaleron weapons like the ones used by Shinzon, cloaking mines, and heavy graviton beams? We're not entirely sure. That's why we need eyes inside. The station itself is near a micro nebula and surrounded by a tachyon detection grid. Even a cloaked ship wouldn't be able to sneak in there. You should also expect automated defenses like turrets and cannons. We haven't spotted any ships in the vicinity, fortunately. Although, with Romulan cloaking, anything is possible. Any questions? What if I need support? Starfleet will make sure to have a ship or two in range for a rapid response in case of emergency. Hopefully, though, 
You'll be able to keep things quiet, and that won't be necessary. Of course, missions rarely go exactly as planned. Agreed. Any questions? No more questions. Very well. Remember, you must use a shuttlecraft, runabout, fighter, or similar small operations craft to undertake this mission. We need on-site intel from the interior of the vault. Starfleet will not clear you to enter the Hakona system otherwise. Good luck. Thank you. All right, let's go talk with a shuttle officer. information on shuttles or other small craft. If you happen to lose your captain's yacht or commander's gig, let me know. I was told to report to you. I can provide you with necessary information on shuttles in general, so feel free to ask whatever you wish. When you're ready to actually claim your shuttle, you'll need to speak with shuttle ship and shuttle acquisition officer. Okay, do we have a shuttle? We do. Standard weapons and everything on there. Stations for small craft. Don't need polar at all. All right, let's beam up and head to the vault. Obviously, this station isn't as abandoned as Intel suspected. Sensors are reading several Riemann ships in the area, and that's just the ones that we can spot. That station is immense! It must have taken an incredible amount of manpower and technology to build it. It's almost the size of a small moon. Sensors are reading a sophisticated tachyon detection network, as well as several patrolling vessels. For an abandoned station, this facility certainly has a lot of activity. Agreed. My people are experts at stealth technology. If we want to approach unseen, we must avoid confrontation and find a way to evade or jam their sensor grid. We must assume that if we engage the ships here, they'll notify whoever is left on the station, and it may become difficult to find an entry point. Understood. I think we're actually going to head this way. Looks like they left this satellite as a communications booster for their short range work. Okay, that's tactical, so. You come down to the ship. Indications are that this vessel was refitted for asteroid mining. Apparently a containment failure in the engine core led to a massive radiation surge. 
The engine went into emergency shutdown, but all of the couplings and injectors were burned out. The crew probably died due to instant radiation burns. It looks like the vessel was stripped for parts and left derelict. Although the vessel's engine core is a total loss, some of the backup computer systems were left intact. This vessel was used to deploy some of the tachyon detection satellites around the vault. There's a copy of the network algorithm in the computer memory. If we put the tachyon satellites along the final meridian into maintenance mode, we can create a gap in the detection grid that will let us slip through. If we can get close to the base without passing through the detection grid, we should be able to put a satellite into maintenance mode. Then that will give us a gap that will allow us to slip into the station itself undetected. Understood. Approaching the Tachyon grid perimeter. If we're detected by it, that will definitely alert the Remans. The satellite's in maintenance mode. We can pass through the net. Picking up some unusual energy readings. We'll need to explore the accessible interior areas and see what we can find. Looks like there's another access conduit across from us. We'll have to think three-dimensionally in here. Sensor readings are also picking up a few scattered life signs. Understood. We've tripped some security systems. doors are a massive set of interior bulkhead doors. They're segmenting the different parts of the base. Possibly a safety measure in case something went wrong in one of the central areas. Access appears to be controlled by use of security keys. We can disable it if we can find a code block that matches part of a security key. Scanning in progress. This defense turret was hooked into security part of the security key network. That's it. There's a well security done. code in its subsystem. We should be able to bypass the system and gain access now. Scanning in progress. There's still power in most of the station. Some of these conduits are damaged. Keep an eye out for energy discharges. Microgravity storage crates. Mostly construction supplies. No weapons or unusual energy signatures. Okay, time to stand, scan the Above Borg us. Sphere. That's a Borg Sphere. The Tal Shiar must have used this base as a storage facility and research area for Borg technology. The Borg Sphere is dormant, like it's been put to sleep. It's not the source of the strange readings that long-range scans detected. Looks like the sphere is hooked into part of the local systems network. We should be able to exit through the other doors now. 
Probably a safety precaution to keep them locked. Makes sense. facility used to build Thaleron weapons. If the Remans have infiltrated this base, they may be trying to secure those weapons. Ah, so our intruder finally arrives at the heart of the matter. Have you seen all that you came to see, little spy? Who are you? Does it really matter? Call me Obase, if a name is that important to you. What are you doing here? That should be obvious. I intend to make use of this station to further my agenda. Your presence, however, is a bit more... curious. I expect that you are operating under the Shroud of Empress Sela, whether you realize it or not. I'm not an agent of Empress Sela. Did you know Sela's mother was a human? And a Starfleet officer, no less. Given Starfleet's many attempts at interference with the Romulan Star Empire over the years, it is quite obvious that at least some elements of both organizations are cooperating. Either that, or possibly your Starfleet has been tricked into doing the Empress's bidding. Even if I were an operative of Sela, how would that change the situation? Points for your keen observation regarding the precariousness of your situation. In short, it does not. You are an interloper, and a potential wrinkle in my plans. So you must be eliminated. If I knew the nature of your plans, we could arrange some mutually beneficial solution. Never rely on the noble intentions of spies and thieves, Captain. And you and I are either one or the other. Since we're on familiar footing, at least we can do a show courtesy. I appreciate your level-headedness in an unfortunate situation. As you must have surmised, though, I have already located the Thaleron weapons that I need. One of my ships has completed transporting them, and soon we shall make our first strike against the Romulans in our war for liberation. Sadly, we cannot trust any outside powers to ally with us. Our freedom must be won by our own hands. The Federation has always promoted freedom. While I cannot condone your use of Thaleron weapons, I can sympathize with your plight. Your honesty under pressure is refreshing. Lesser beings would be scheming to learn my plans or begging for mercy. Your intellect and discretion do you credit. I cannot condone the use of Thaleron weapons despite your justification. Frankly, I'm astonished by your commitment to principle. I had a very low opinion of Starfleet officers. Sadly, this means that you are also a determined enemy, and a dangerous one. I will allow you to explore the station at your leisure, but I cannot allow you to leave. I'm sure you understand my position. Perhaps at some future time, when the Riemann people are free, I will be able to free you as well. I must warn you that if you attempt to leave, my warship will have no choice but to destroy your craft. Farewell. Well, let's gather some research data. Now let's go blow something up.
Come on, keep going. Usually in a shuttle, I don't don't go against the Mokai, but I think I'm going to try at least once. <laughs> 